In this Kaka tutorial, you're going to learn about connectors. Here I've used one such connector in the schematics. Here is a layout of the connector. These are the symbols which represent the individual connector pins. And I've also got a table listing wiring information for each pin. To show you how to insert connectors, I'll use another sheet. To insert connector pins, open the library folder terminals slash connectors. Here you'll find connector pin male female and connector pin female male. For this example, I'll use female male and insert it onto the schematics. By default, the connector pin is added to the last connector you added a pin to, which in my case is CN1, and this is pin number 10. To add a pin to a new or different connector, Hold shift when inserting it. A window pops up where we can choose which connector we want this pin to belong to. I'll create a new connector via the create add tab and select new connector. I'll choose the new connector and click OK. As you can see, this new connector pin now belongs to CN2 and is pin number 1. Any connector pins I insert from here on will belong to the new connector, CN2. Connectors can be displayed in the tree view by selecting the project, going to the Show tab, and selecting Connectors. Here you can see a list of all the pins for that connector, as well as expand the properties to see part number details. Another way to explore the properties of a connector is to select one of its pins in the schematics and select Explore Connector. As you can see, I haven't defined a part number for this connector yet, but like all other components in SkyCAD, I could do so and save it, or I could assign a part number from the catalog. I'll choose this one. Click OK. Some other useful information can be shown by selecting Open Connector Table View. This shows us a list of all the connector pins for a particular connector, in this case, CN2. The two pins at the bottom don't have any information listed because although they physically exist for this connector part number, we aren't using them in this project yet. They're spares. From this connector table view, we can swap pins if we wish. I'll select pins two and three and swap connector pins. Notice that the position of the pins doesn't change in the list, but the information in the table does change. Another way to swap pins is to select only one pin, swap connector pins, then choose the pin you want to swap it with. We can insert this list onto a sheet by selecting the connector and inserting list block. Choose a sheet. and drop it onto the sheet. Of course, this table updates automatically as the project evolves. Pins can also be swapped in the schematics. You may notice that the connector pin numbers are now out of sequence. We can rectify this by swapping the pins as I showed you, or moving them around. But the simplest way is to select one of the pins Go to the Renumbering Process tab and select Renumber Connector Pins. Now all the pins for this connector have been numbered sequentially. The final thing I'd like to show you is inserting a connector layout onto a sheet. To do this, select the connector in the tree view, go to the Show tab, select Layout, click on the layout, go to the Home tab and select Insert Layout on Sheet. Choose the sheet you want and drop the layout. As with other images in SkyCAD, we can go to the Drawing tab, select Scale, and scroll the mouse wheel to scale the image. 